Hey, hey, Libra! Happy May! I'm excited to see you and even more excited to read for you. And I have kept you in suspense quite long enough. And actually, you know, when I, you know, I spent a little time bef shuffling before we ever get on here, and you had some pretty interesting uh, jumpers, some cards flying out of the deck to speak for you. So I can tell Spirit's got a lot to say. And we're going to dive in and see what's going on for Libra. Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising, Spirit. What do they need to know for their highest good in the month of May? Storylines, pitfalls, potentials, characters. What do we need to know, Spirit, for our highest good? Libra. Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising in the month of May. Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising in the month of May. For our highest good, Spirit. Woo! That's a lot of bonus cards. All right. <laughs> I did say they had a story, right? Well, it's been a while, right? We're catching up. They probably got some extras for you. Okay. Straight up Libra card right at the center. Love it. All right. And another super Libra card. Libra crossed by Venus. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay, Libra. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty... You know, I was going to say looking pretty clear. Because you've got the Ace of Swords showing up in your future. Clarity, understanding, truth, a conversation that broaches something. Um, that awareness, that truth, that light that you are bringing either by instigating or being willing to have that conversation, whatever way it happens for you, is bringing justice, is bringing love, is bringing a sense of rebirth, is bringing a sense of, oh, there is a purpose in this work that I've been doing. There's, there's something I've learned, I've learned from uh, these, these trials that I've been going through and now coming to this decision It feels like a lot of you are kind of, I want to use the word, unveiling. Unveiling kind of a new way of living your life. And you've been working toward this for a while, a lot of you. Now, Libra, of course, this isn't a one-on-one -on -one reading. It's general. So some messages are going to resonate more than others. And some, I want you to trust your intuition, basically. See what resonates with you. And if something doesn't resonate, leave it to the side, knowing that that's probably for some other Libra who tuned in. Um... It's funny, Libra, this is such a like beautifully quintessentially Libra and spread right at the center. Um, and what they're saying is it benefits you to lean into your greatest gifts. Um, graciousness, charm, diplomacy. Um, that conversation, that active listening and participation, that is very important this month to bring you enormous happiness enormous even love for some of you. Um, and the Ten of Cups is big love. You know, we love to see a Two of Cups. It's very sweet. It's a crush. It's an infatuation. But a Ten of Cups says that a lot of you have been working toward a great sense of happiness, accomplishment, um, shared celebration, a big love. Some of you might be having a wedding. Some of you might be attending a party or just being around people that make you feel seen, loved. Now it's some of you that conversation is to close a door. Death. Death is sitting in the position of the unconscious and spirit is saying for some of you that's an ego death. Whoa, I'm different than I was before. Whoa, I'm to quote unquote like reckon with myself to unveil this new beginning, I have to 
A, you know, have that breakthrough conversation, that Ace of Swords discussion with somebody or have that epiphany within myself and then maybe begin to share that with people. It's good for you to to be at peace with shutting the door on something that is dying a natural death. This isn't the tower. This isn't like, oh my god, what happened? Where did this come from? This is like, you know, you look around the empty office, you shut off the lights, and you close and lock the door for the last time. Like, okay, well, we're closing up. Or you have the conversation that alters or changes or ends the relationship, whether in business or in love, because you want to make room for the big love. You're receiving gifts this month. Your magnetism is high. I like literal powers of attraction. When I said like very Venusian, like Libran spread, here's Venus, the Empress, the great receiver, the great magnetizer. The universe, we could say it this way, is conspiring to bring you something beautiful, Libra. So for those of you that are like, oh, I'm not looking forward to putting an end to this, or I'm not looking forward to having this discussion, please know that that's making room for something like really incredible and like an awakening, a rebirth. Let's, let's come over to, I love seeing the death card in conjunction with then in the key slash conclusion position of your spread, the judgment card, death, rebirth. Gabriel blows the horn, illusions and falsehoods and unconscious shadowy patterns are knocked away. The truth is revealed. Keep marching forward. That's what they're telling me. Keep marching forward. Your work is worth it. Your slow, steady, sustainable effort and your decision to be really true to yourself. That's how they're putting it, being really true to yourself. Wait, okay, who am I really? Even if it takes me some time, even if justice, I gotta weigh these scales. I don't know how I feel about this. Take your time. You have very powerful cards here, Libra. Sitting in the past, strength. This is not a card about brute strength. This is not a card about forcing things and, and pushing through and, and taking what you want. This is a card about leveraging that inner strength. Like they said, your greatest abilities, your diplomacy, your charm, your graciousness. These are the things that can get you through an uncomfortable conversation or the ending of something in a way that is graceful. Empress, in a way that leaves everybody feeling cared for and seen and acknowledged. It's really um, interesting to me, Libra, that you have um, you have the Ten of Cups, you have the Empress, uh, and you also have sitting in the position of what is possible, the Knight of Cups, a suitor, a promise, an offer, a sweet gesture, a romantic gesture for many of you. There is a possibility out there of somebody who can move you. That's how they're putting it. I also feel your creative work is not only important this month, but is like getting fired up. And they're using that word fired up very intentionally. The Queen of Wands is sitting in the position of like who or what is around you. So who is this warm, charismatic, Again, kind of very similar to the Empress in the sense of naturally attractive. The Queen of Wands is like the kind of person that radiates, you know? She smiles and people gravitate toward her the same way they would gravitate toward a fire if they were outside and it was cold and they would want to put their hands and receive some of that light and some of that warmth. Um, again, these are general readings, Libra, so for some of you this could even be the like potential romantic partner or or um, a creative partner, depending on where your focus is, what it is that you are trying to create and bring to life. 
bring to life, right? The Empress. Okay, this is what they're saying is, yeah, they're they're drawing um, a parallel between the Empress and the Death card because, you know, death is death, right? Makes sense. The Empress is life. As you can see, she is very pregnant. She is literally the, the spirit of creation. Don't be afraid of clearing the ground because there is so much that is so fertile and there is so much that is growing. So if you have to do a little pruning, you know, He's got his big old scythe. If you have to do a little bit of gardening work to make room for something that you really want to flourish, don't be afraid. You are getting a wake-up call. But again, it's not a tower. It's a wake-up call. It's like, look over here, please. This is being revealed to you. See this about yourself. That's that strength card, looking at yourself with compassion. And you've been doing the work, Libra. Like, that's what they're telling me. It's like, you've, this, this is sitting in the past. You've been looking at yourself. You've been kind of doing that inner child work. Or, you know, when a bad, quote-unquote, thought or impulse or habit or whatever rears its ugly head, instead of calling it ugly or hating yourself for feeling that or, or whatever, you're being kind to yourself and you're addressing it the way that, like, an ideal parent would address with the child. Like, that's okay. You're feeling this. Like... We can get through this, don't worry about it. You and me together, we can do this. That is the right approach. You don't want to spank yourself into submission. We all have that lion inside of us. We're a combination, we're spirit and animal, and all of us feel rage or depression or jealousy or greed or those things that we feel ashamed of and we want to cage or beat or kill our lion when really we want to, when it comes to us roaring that it's hungry, we don't want to yell at it for being hungry. We want to feed it something healthy. We want to take care of that lime. We want to brush out the knots. We want to take out any thorns. We want to give it love so that it becomes our adoring, faithful sidekick. You are much stronger walking through the world with a full-grown, healthy, thriving lion that is trained and knows when it needs to come out roaring and knows when it can chill and just walk beside you, you know, a very nice facsimile for that, that big stick. Walk softly, carry a big stick. Carry a big sword. <laughs> Not advising you to bring out your katana, but you know, the sword of truth, the sword of clarity. Clear thinking, clear creativity. Keep going forward. You're strong, Libra. This is an awakening. And you've got allies. Very specifically, some of you may even have somebody coming in to offer you love. You're celebrating. You're moving forward. Say what you need to say, Libra. You'll put yourself into a more powerful position. I love it. Okay, we're already well into May, Libra. What do you know? Like, has any of this come up for you already? Is any of it resonating, not resonating? I would love to hear from you. Questions, comments, stories. Um, and I also want to take a second just to say, Libra, that I really appreciate uh, you for tuning in. And I appreciate you sticking with me, even though it's been a little while. And, and just let you know that I do this between two jobs that I work. So whenever I'm not here, it's not because I don't care and don't want to post. It's because I'm caught up in other things. But I'm always thinking about you guys and, like, always excited to make these videos and put them out. So thank you for those of you who've sent me kind messages and left kind comments and, and been so supportive. And really appreciate you. And if I don't see you in tomorrow's Magic Monday video, Libra, then I hope I see you in next month's reading. Bye-bye.